Hi guys. <clears throat> you know I like quirky things. I think this is a quirky thing. We've got to get this disc through this hole. You've probably seen it a thousand times. I have, and I thought it was magic, and I thought, no, it's sleight of hand. Um, but it's not. It is real. So how do you get this through there? It's obviously not going to fit. In fact, the radius of this disc is the same as the side of that square. So even diagonally is going to be root 2 bigger. It's certainly not going to be big enough for the disc. Okay, so we, this is the first time we're going to think inside the box. Uh, this is two-dimensional, this is two-dimensional. If we think inside a box, if we start thinking 3D, and then we say, well, what happens if we fold it over like that? Then we get the diagonal there. Now, so the diagonal is obviously still not going to do go through. Whereas this is a radius, and this is a radius. So if we put the radiuses together, voila, we've got a hole which is two radiuses, which is the diameter of this. So then we should be able to, and we can. push it through because it's now all fit. I still find it incredible. <laughs> Simple geometry. But anyway, there we go. Oh, let me do it slowly again. So this is it. And then we open it up. Look at that. 